One of the projects that when I started with with him was um, he wanted like a pro I told him one oh it's an idea that I wanted to do. I wanted to do something for um my for um Viv. Well it's Fifi, it's a Maldi name. Um because I thought I'd, I wanted to do him a, a walking stick, which he told me is a tuk So I'm just learning simple things from that, like that, what's cool. And so um, me and um, Tarangi went off to see Viv and told him that what we wanted to do and came with our, a bit of wood, a rata, which is a strong wood. And um, yeah, so we, we um, asked him about who are the Tonga and who are the, you know, the what's the fuck about us fucker papa and to find out what to do with, with the carving to learn a bit about him so it's kind of the whole the whole key like one of the main the good things about the project is like it was something for me to carve and to learn how to carve but on top of that it was something that, like a way for me to find out more about my fucker papa and more about my family and um so yeah so it's, it's been like you know it's, it's hitting two birds with one stone really you know through, through doing this I've learned so much and I've also learned so much about the actual art of carving so it's been great. Um, and so now we're on our way to pick up Tarangi and then head off down to Kino to see Viv and present it to him. So he knows I've been working on it. Because we, cause we went there and I did the interview with him with um, Tarangi to find out all this information for the carving. But he doesn't know that we're coming down, so it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. He knows that we're coming down, but doesn't know that we're coming down to give him that. It up so he doesn't put your cameras in the back of the car. I think no, I've got my camera. Oh, go and say hello. And then yeah. Yeah. if you want to say something about it, mm -hmm. talk to him. No, hell no, play by you. Megan, what's this? What's it's all this? Hey, yeah. do it again. <laughs> Rugby again, good boy. Good to see you. Oh, good to see you. But yeah. not under those circumstances. Harden up, boy. Is that rugby yeah, again? Uh, up, you gotta harden up. <laughs> this, this is my little bunch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I haven't been here so long. I thought I'd better come too. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Michelle. Yeah. We've got oh. Elroy with us. Are you alright? Good to see you. Hey. Hey. Ah, hey. 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 Oh, okay. He's asked a question, so I have to I have to answer him. Uh, but before I answer him, Kate uh, Tuaki and Nayoki to Mihiaki get the far note, the Fari Tune, Papa Tuanuku, Horona, and all that at Tenakota at the far note. My name is Terangi Kaihoro. Uh, my whanau call me Laurie. Mum named me after uh, Laurie Morrison, her, her beautiful cousin that she loved very much, and uh, so I get to get I get to get that name. But uh, in the last few months, um, uh, I've had uh, I don't know whether it was an unenviable pleasure of, uh, of Lakin. Now, when Lakin came to us, uh, the first thing I did, <laughs> to the shock and horror of his mum, I'm sure, is we gave him an, a Māori name. And so, to us, as our house, he's known as Roto Aida. We've come here today to um, to bring. We came down on a bit of a history mission the last time. Roto Aida was uh, was asking Viv about some tupunas and some tupunas, and of course Viv got a bit suspicious. Well, what the <laughs> hell do you want to know that for? So we had to tell him that, well, bro, we heard you had a, a you know, pakaru why why, and you're going like this, or was it the other one? And uh, and so the idea was was that uh, Roto Aida was going to carve him. A walking stick but we needed his permission for the genealogy to go on it and you know between the two of us nuts we've forgotten which one you know who goes where <laughs> but we've got a pretty good idea that Viv, Viv knows that so uh, in the last little while um, our young fella's been learning how to carve okay. Roto it's time to push play yeah. <laughs> Te nā rākwe, i a koe, e mau mai te, te ope. 
na haura i mau mai tau tata tau ope, engari ke ora koe. He poto noho wā kuna kupu ke a tātou. Ko tai mai tātou ki te wā kāinga, koe ni tā tātou kāinga. A hakoa, nā taku hoa. Engari ko tai mai tātou. Ko puta wā noho wā kupu ke a tātou ko tau. Ke ora koe. You got a further task to do. Yeah, yeah this is what we've been working on. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, so it's, um, it's, we started working on it when I was beginning with working on it, so it's taken me over the last couple of months yeah. to get it done. So started working with this and then working on larger ones, yeah. so we got through it to it. So, um, and what I thought we thought was quite a nice touch is the, the bottom tipple note is actually that, it's Greg. Oh, yeah. And so what we've Greg. done, and to represent that, one of the things is, um, it's the tongue going into the mouth, or the hand uh -huh. hand going into uh -huh. the um, tongue into uh -huh. the mouth. It's the acquisition of knowledge because uh -huh. he was always trying to learn. Uh -huh. And this um, bridge part here was um, it's a bridge to enlightenment, as he always yeah. got there with all his work and um, uh -huh. knowledge and going through. And also with the spirals coming down, this represents from uh -huh. dad to mum, yeah, to Amber, to Hayden. Yeah to me down to the ground so from dad down to earth to reality oh. to your family that's come through and what's the top one uh that's toro um, um, yeah matatua matatua ah yeah. uh, and then uh kia ora kia ora koe hoa it'll be around forever yeah yeah hey kone na kai te whaa whaa hey kone Yeah. Thank you, my boy. Put I made a quick yell. I don't mind a quick. Kilda, Kilda, Kilda. Don't you feel that, bro? Yeah, yeah. You feel it. Beautiful. With both holding yeah, it. Yeah, it's really quite heavy like, too, eh? Yes, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's beautiful, right? This is a third of the world. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I did a very... Yeah. Just yeah. seeing, seeing yeah. someone like, um, like a cordillard, like, getting so emotional, you don't really see him, you never see him tear up or anything like that. Even just hearing him speaking in Māori is, you know, it's, it's nice to hear, you know. So I'm so animated as well, you know. You've you got all the emotions, you got all the excitement, you got the, you know, you got the everything. It's great. You know, it's um, yeah, no, it's awesome. I think Dad would be pretty proud. <laughs> I hope so.